Welcome to Exponential Africa and as we continue our journey in San Francisco, the, the place where anything is possible, we are fortunate enough and very grateful to be at Label Box with uh, Manu Sharma. Manu Sharma is a 28 year old who is an aerospace engineer, design and entrepreneur. He is also the co-founder and CEO of Label Box. He was also named the 2019 Forbes 30 under 30 to watch in enterprise technology along with his two co-founders. Manu, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Um, so we wanted to just ask you, what is Labelbox and what does Labelbox do exactly? Sure. So Labelbox is a collaborative training data software that helps companies to create and manage label data at scale to rapidly build AI applications. So it turns out that the best way humans know how to build AI systems is by creating huge amounts of training data and then use those training data to train neural networks over and over again. And um, in order to build AI applications, almost every company has to build uh, and these tools to create and manage labeled data themselves. And as you can imagine, if everyone has to build these things, getting to building AI it can be really tedious and take a long time. Labelbox offers uh, these uh, solutions out of the box for these companies to rapidly get to the training part. Amazing. I mean, you would never even think, like, how did you even come up with this idea? How did it all spawn? So we, we were founded by three, uh, the three founders in the company and we all uh, in our past jobs experienced the pain of um, creating these tools to build AI applications. So for example, I was at a company called Planet Labs which has uh, I think now over 300 satellites uh, in low Earth orbit. And we were um, capturing images around the Earth every single day. And in order to build AI applications to uh, derive insights from, uh, from, uh, from this global imagery database, we had to build lots of these tools ourselves. And I quickly realized, like in Silicon Valley, this is the best, you know, one of the leaders uh, in AI. And uh, if we have to con invest so much money and time to build these tools, the rest of the world probably is very far away. Incredible. Wow. I mean, this is something you don't think about every day. Seriously. It's like to actually, so if the data needs to be labeled in order for the AI models to read it so that it's accurate. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, it's, uh, it's in a, in a very, um, uh, it's very similar to how humans learn. It's an experiential, um, like we learn from lots of experiences. So you guys sit uh, in between the AI model. You, the data comes in, you, you label all that data so that it, the, the actual AI model can read it correctly. Exactly, and I think the, the difference here is that we, um, we actually build software layer and uh, sort of an interface layer for uh, these businesses to interactively teach AI. We have many of our customers bring their own domain experts who help label data sets. Sometimes they um, tap into our workforce partner network who can uh, outsource data labeling on our platform. Wow, I think it's so interesting how you actually got into this whole world. How, how did you get into this? Yeah. Um, um, I was always excited about AI since early days of college. My background is in aerospace engineering, but at that time in college I was playing a lot with genetic algorithms and uh, these neural nets uh, and, and, and hoping to try to build algorithms that could learn to fly itself in, air, in airplanes. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I think that fascination was there for, for a long time. and. Um, it was, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, when I was in my previous companies, I saw the problem at hand um, in front of my eyes. Like, it is really hard to build AI models um, from scratch. And uh, I quickly realized, like, okay, this is a great time to actually build a software here um, that makes companies uh, leapfrog uh, to uh, AI revolution. I think it's so incredible. It's, it's amazing. Eh? And uh, I mean, one of the big things that people are saying is that AI is going to take away jobs. And one of the worries in South Africa specifically is that, this, that the AI and the automation is going to remove a lot of jobs. Now, with Labelbox, it will actually create jobs. Am I, is that right? I think what we are seeing is, so first of all, um, building AI models requires huge amounts of um, manual labeling. And uh, this is actually one of the darkest uh, secrets of ML AI world, which is, you know, you, the AI doesn't, just doesn't magically appear. You have to create huge amounts of training data. And what we are seeing is that there are um, tens of thousands of people employed who are um, providing these services to label data sets for companies around the world. Um, so I think it certainly uh, is offering a unique um, avenue for uh, people uh, in developing countries to, to work. 
Um, but I think, um, largely speaking, I think AI uh, certainly is uh, going to automate a lot of very tedious uh, works um, or repetitive works. Um, but our hope is that um, uh, it uh, only uh, enables people to um, have time to do more creative work. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Manu is going to be at Exponential Finance in Cape Town. Are you yeah. excited to come to Cape Town? I'm really excited. I've never been. No, we, we're so grateful to be having you. And uh, thank you so much for, for showing us your offices today and showing us the label box. And we will see you soon. Yeah, thanks for coming Thanks over. so much. Awesome.